Right. Mudval Mayor Bongani Baloy has been arrested after an altercation with an ANC member. Reports say the ANC member has also been arrested. To find out more, we're joined on the line by the municipality's MMC for Corporate Services, Amelia Tsukudu. Thanks for joining us. Now, one of the signs of a strong democracy is vigorous debate between opposing parties. But what one does not uh, expect, however, is for that to de degenerate into physical altercations, um, even less so when one of the parties involved Involved is the mayor. Um, now, we know that you're alleging that the mayor was attacked, um, but yet a counterclaim has been made against him. So tell us exactly what happened. Good afternoon. Actually, I just want to clarify the fact that the mayor was there in his capacity as a leader of the council, not a, as a political party leader. So we went there as a council. We had a meeting. Uh, these are scheduled meetings. But what was important about today's meeting is that we, we also, it was a prelude to our other day event. So while the mayor was presenting on the podium, a few people came, singing, trying to disrupt him, and then that is where the attack came. Uh, he was attacked, and then we went to the nearby police station to open a case. And the person who attacked the mayor, who is known to ourselves, and who's not doing it for the first time, it was not for the first time that we attacked the mayor, or members of the mayoral committee. He did come also to open a case. So both of them, according to what we are told by the SAPS, or that they are both, uh, uh, you know, they were both uh, uh, arrested, and they are free. They are free on a bail. But the mayor, because he was severely injured, is receiving attention in one of the medical institutions around here. So can you tell us about the mayor's um, injuries? He's receiving medical attention. Are his injuries serious or considerable? Yes, the, he was attacked, uh, according to the police, if they call it a uh, GDH. He was attacked with a stone and then with some, you know, physically, he was attacked physically and also with a stone. And then he bled and we had to leave with him in that, with him in that condition. As I'm saying, he's receiving medical attention after the case was opened because the, the perpetrator also opened a case against the mayor for assault. He said the mayor hit him with the mic. It's important to, 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 to note that it is not happening for the first time. It was six, about two years ago, in the setting where we had an IDP meeting, the very person with the, the group, him leading the group, he attacked us. And the case was open, even though we don't know exactly. We don't have the details of what happened to the case because it was a serious case like this uh, where there was a lot of damage to the municipality uh, uh, property. Uh, 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 like it happened to this. Um, a lot of our uh, the municipality uh, property was maliciously damaged. Right, so obviously we understand that you can't name the perpetrator, but can you confirm for us whether he is indeed, as reported, a member of the ANC? Yes, he is a member of the ANC. Actually, the group that came, they came branded with ANC clothes, came with a banner of the ANC, uh, chanting, actually very derogative uh, song with a lot of swear words, and they were visibly uh, seen as they were branded with the ANC of Italia, and also with the ANC uh, banner, which they were having in the, uh, as a crowd. So we know that the, the, it's a highly contested area, um, history of allegations of corruptions. Do you think this kind of tension is just sort of normal in the lead up to elections next year? Obviously, we don't want anyone to be you know, physically injured. That's definitely not normal. Uh, but do you suspect a more sinister agenda at work here? I think it, it is both because looking at the history of what we have with this particular individual and the group, it happened during the time when we were doing this campaign work, and it's happening again. The unfortunate part is that he's attacking the whole municipality, maybe based on the, the whole GA municipality. Maybe, I suspect, maybe it's based on the uh, political agenda. But uh, the issue here is, uh, the disturbing issue is, uh, this was about service delivery. This was about elderly people who came, and ordinary citizens, and then they had to watch when the mayor is attacked, because when he, they came, there was quite a, 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 a lot of people who were seated waiting for the mayor to come and address them. And 
those people wanted the mayor to talk. Even when we, saw, we suspect that the situation was sweet, the mayor wanted to just stay away because he started attacking other councillors. Everybody was talking. He was attacking them on the basis of, you know, he accused councillor of being a racist, that the apartheid time is over, it is now their time. I'm quoting his other things. So after that, that is when the whole issue got out of hand. After he attacked the mayor, he was the first one to throw a fist and a, a, a stone. And then all of the mayoral committee were attacked. And we had to leave the scene to run to the neighborhood police station. All right, thank you very much for that update. That was the Midvale Municipality's MMC for Corporate Services, Emilia Tsukudu, giving us an update telling us that uh, Mayor Baloy is receiving medical attention after an altercation at a meeting.